Hi guys, it's me Keith again. This time I'm going to teach you on how we are going to create a login form in Microsoft Excel. First, we are going to pull out Microsoft Excel. Just type Excel. I have the 2021 version of Microsoft Excel in here. So I'm just going to create a blank form. Now the first thing that we are going to do is actually guys I've already created an instruction for this so that it would be easier for us to do the task. Okay so first is we are going to create an auto open window on a module. Okay so that is the first thing that we are going to do but to do that we need to activate a couple of uh, what do we call this one forms or we are going to activate a couple of uh, windows and settings in Microsoft Excel so to do that be sure that the developer tab is already um, activated so if you still haven't activated the developer tab you can just click on file go to options then click on customize ribbon then make sure that this one right here is already checked click OK then there you go now on the developer tab the first thing that we are going to do is to click on visual basic okay so this one right here is like a programming part in Microsoft Excel so you can press alt F11 for Windows or you can just click on this one so once you have clicked on visual basics it looks like this for programmers it is kinda familiar to them already but if you're not a programmer then this will be uh, kinda strange in your part so the only thing that we are going to do is just to follow whatever instruction are in here. So create an auto open window on a module. So the first thing that we are going to do is to create a module. So in here we have insert a user form icon. All we need to do is just to click on the arrow right here. Okay. So click on the arrow then click on module. So under module we are going to type a couple of codes. Now when we say module it's like um, a library of tasks or something like it is a set of tasks that you wish your computer to do something like that okay so let me copy the um, code in here then later on I'm going to explain everything to you guys so I'm just going to copy and paste it here now um, there is some sort of a sub here sub auto open so it's like this is the name of the module or the task that you wish your Excel to do okay then end sub it's like this is the open door and this one is the closed door so these are the statements when we say statements it's like line of codes or the commands that you wish for your computer to do okay so this one right here the one with the green is like is called a comment okay so it does nothing at all on your program however it gives you an idea on what the code is okay so you can change this one or you cannot uh, you can also not include this one in typing okay so this one is the most important one so in here it says sheets sheet one that activates so it's like it's telling the Excel to activate a particular sheet okay so when we go back to our Excel form so if ever I'm going to open my Excel form right here we have sheet one so if you have multiple sheets in here sheet one sheet two sheet three so whatever sheet you wish to load then that's the sheet name that you're going to type in here so for me I'm going to load sheet one so if you want to change that one to sheet number three just for awareness purposes then you can do it okay next is to show user form now when we say user form this is some sort of a password window okay so for now if ever you are going to run this one this will not do anything at all okay since uh, we still haven't created a form so to create a user form you need to go back in here again guys and click on the arrow then click on user form so if ever you're going to click on this one so this is how the user form would look like you can resize it through here if you want to make it bigger a little bit then if you want to test your program you can just click on the play button right here or just press F5 on your keyboard click and this is how it is going to look like then you can close it then go back to your 
project. Now, if you want to test your program or your Excel file, let us close this one again. I'm just going to close this one, but uh, you don't need to do that on your part, okay? So I'm going to save this one. So by the way, guys, if you wish to save your file, you need to click on Save As. Then find a place where you wish to save it. For me, I'm going to save it on my desktop. And I'm going to change the Save As type. It is very important that you need to change the Save As type. Otherwise, this one will not work. So click on Save, save As type and click on Excel Macro Enabled Workbook. So click on that one. I'm going to name this one as login form or log login. Just log in, okay? Then click on save. There you go. So since I've saved it, I'm going to close this one. Let me minimize a couple of stuff right there. So this is the file right here. So if I'm going to double click on this. So this is the pop-up window. Now in here, guys, you cannot use your Excel unless you are going to close this one. So what we're going to do here is we are pro we are going to provide a password protection for our file. Okay, so this is just the starting point. So I'm going to close this one and I'm going to continue what I've been doing a while ago. So click on the developer tab, click on visual basic. This time on the user form, I'm going to provide design on my user form. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just to change the name. Okay, so to do that, be sure that you have clicked on this area. Then you have the properties panel in here. Okay, so if ever you have accidentally closed it, you can just click on view. We have in here the properties window to restore it back. Okay, so in here, so click on user form one and go to caption. So on caption, I'm going to name this one as login screen okay something like that it's up to you whatever name you like to put in there it's still okay okay then up next is if ever you wish to add a company logo for this one then all you need to do is just to go back to your toolbox again if you have accidentally closed your toolbox it's still in here under view then click on toolbox we have something like an image tool right here so just click on that one then click and drag so at this point you can add an image for your login screen now to add an image just click on this part right here then afterwards click on picture then there is some sort of a three dot uh, button right here just click on that one then I have um, downloaded a company logo right here. So I'm just going to use this one. Just double click on it. Now, as you can see, it does not fit with your form. So all you need to do is just to uh, do a couple of trick in here. So just click on this uh, image tool right here. Then go to picture size mode. So instead of using this um, setting, just click on the drop down arrow and choose picture size mode stretch okay then there you go so it's like it automatically fits on the dimensions of your object now if you wish to remove the outline you can just click again then go back to border color I'm just going to choose let's say white then if you wish to remove the background for this one I'm going to click on the form itself there is some sort of a back color. So I'm going to change the back color to something like white as well. There you go. Now up next is I'm going to create a text box. So go back to our toolbox. Then we have in here a text box. Click on the text box. Click and drag. That's it. Simple as that. Then up next is if ever you are going to test this one. So I'm going to click on run. This is how it's going to look like if ever I'm going to type something so you can type a couple of text here. But since we are going to deal with passwords, so we need to transform this one into something like a password character. So close it and click the text box again. Be sure that you have clicked on the text box. Okay, single click only. Then go to password character or password char. You need to change this one to something like an asterisk. Just place one asterisk in there, then that's good to go. 
then we are going to test it again click on this one right here to run then if ever you're going to type it looks like that okay so we already have created a password field so close it again then we are going to add a couple more settings so let's say the command button we have a command button in here so just click on it um click and drag so i'm going to name this one as something like clear okay so on the caption be sure that you have selected this then on the caption change this one to something like clear there then again i'm going to create another command button this time i'm going to place it just beside the previous one and i'm going to name this one as uh login okay now we're done with it so the next thing that we are going to do is just to provide a code or a command for these buttons to work for now it's not working so if ever you are going to test it it looks like this it's not working at all so we are going to provide a control for this buttons okay or these buttons so i've already created a set of codes here so create an if statement for the button using visual basic for application so i've already have created a code so all i need to do is just to copy this uh, control c then go back to my login button okay the first one will be the login button and paste it there now in here it is some sort of an if statement okay so you have placed it just inside private sub and end sub okay just place it inside there okay so it's like if text box one well when we say text box one going back to our user form this is the one so you can see it in here from the name itself this one is text box one so it's like it's trying to call the object okay so if text box one dot text is equal to administrator i'm using administrator as a password so you can change that one if you want okay text box one the text is equal to administrator with a double quote be sure to provide a double quote okay then uh, i'm going to use me that hide so it's like i'm trying to hide user form okay else if it is not an administrator administrator i'm going to change the spelling there administrator then a message box will pop out and says unauthorized user then end of the statement so it's like it's trying to tell you that if you have typed something on text box one that is equal to administrator then you can log in okay or else a message box will appear that you are an unauthorized user okay so something like that now in here we have the clear button so we need to activate the clear button as well so it's like it will clear up whatever is in here okay so double click on the clear button so it's in here it, it is blinking in here so i'm just going to copy copy the file so just a single line of code so i'm just going to copy this and paste it here there you go so it's that's uh it says in here that text box one dot text is equal to something like two double quotes without anything in between so it's like you're trying to clear whatever content is in your text box one the text okay so it is how it goes okay so going back to our form just double click on this icon right here so this is how it's going to look like so if ever you're going to run it click on run and there you go so if ever i'm going to type anything at all or just a random characters by the time i'm going to click on login it says an authorized user so you can't log in so if i'm going to clear this one it clears up and i'm going to type administrator click login there you go so you have already or you have successfully logged in to your uh, excel okay so i think that's it so if you wish to save this one be sure that you have saved your file already or you can close this window right here and save your file again save as and be sure that you have enabled your or you are going to save it as macro enabled workbook so i'm going to replace the previous file there you go so you already have saved your file in um 
Microsoft Excel and again here's another thing that you need to remember be sure that you have already uh, change the trust center settings so click on options it's under file then go to trust center then trust center settings then go to macro settings be sure that you have enabled VBA macros and check trust sent trust access to VBA project then click OK then you're good to go okay so if you have questions please feel free to message down below and subscribe for more bye for now Let's <laughs> go.